What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today guys, I'm going to be doing another player review for you guys. You seem to be really enjoying these player reviews and today we are going to be reviewing a striker. The player that we are going to be reviewing today is Emo Ezekiel, formerly of Standard Liège. He now plays for the Qatar club Al Arabi though and he really is a good young player. Luckily he's still on the game even though he doesn't even play for a club that's in the game. And at the start of career mode, Emo Ezekiel is a 73 overall at the age of 20. He's worth £2 million but I guarantee as with all these young players you're going to have to pay a lot more than that. He's also showing great potential as well which is very nice to see. And now we are going to be moving on to his stats seeing what he does look like at the beginning of career mode. And straight away you can see that this guy is a physical goddess. Seriously, at the start of career mode, he's got so many dark green physical attributes. Really good speed, really good balance, really good agility. Exactly what I look for in a striker. And then he also has 71 attack positioning, 69 vision. Not really too bad whatsoever. He also has a pretty decent ball control and dribbling. And he also has 75 finishing. To be honest, a lot of his skill attributes aren't really the best at the start of career mode. They could be a little bit better. He is a Nigerian right footer, he's got high medium work rates, he's got 2 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. And at the beginning of career mode he doesn't have any traits or specialities. And now that we've taken a little look at what he looks like at the beginning of career mode, we're going to take a little look at what he looks like after roughly 10 seasons, see what his stats are and see whether he is worth buying. And after 8 seasons in career mode, Emo Ezekiel manages to get to a 92 overall striker. 92 overall is pretty ridiculous considering his original potential is about 83 to 84. It is a bit ridiculous I got him to 92, but just a little heads up, I do not loan glitch any players that I review on this channel. So you can easily get Emo Ezekiel to a 92 overall as long as you play him consistently and you are lucky with injuries and suspensions. But more importantly, it's time to look at Emo Ezekiel's stats 92 overall. What do his stats look like? Here we go. And this is what he looks like at 92 overall. Seriously, look at these physical attributes. He looks like an amazing striker, all in the dark green apart from strength. I really have never seen anything like this before. 79 attack positioning, 76 vision. That could be a little bit better, but to be honest, his skill attributes really have grown to be a very, very nice well-rounded striker. 98 finishing, 96 heading accuracy, 97 ball control, 98 shot power, the list goes on. All of these stats are really, really good. And he picks up a whole heap of specialities as well. The speedster, aerial threat, dribbler, distance shooter, acrobat, clinical finisher and the complete forward speciality. 92 overall makes him the highest rated player that I've reviewed on this channel thus far. But does he play well in game? That is what we are going to find out now. And we are going to find out whether he's worth it, his pros and cons, and whether you should buy him for your career mode. So now we're going to be moving on to the gameplay for Emo Ezekiel, the 92 rated Nigerian striker. And we're going to be finding out whether he's good, whether he's bad in career mode, and well, whether you should buy him or not, basically. We're going to start things off by talking about why he's good what his pros are and what makes him such a good striker to have. He's exceptionally quick, that's the first thing that I have to say. He's got amazing acceleration around defenders. You'll see it a lot of the time. I'm just able to blitz around defenders with his amazing pace. He's so, so good at getting to the ball and then when he's getting muscled off the ball, it just doesn't happen. He just keeps hold of the ball the whole time and I just don't know how he does it but he's very, very good at that. As well as that, he's extremely effective sprint dribbling around defenders. If you don't know how to do that, it's the LTRT mechanism that you can use on your controller. You hold them down and then you release them. And just the explosion of pace from this guy really is amazing. You know, he doesn't need any sort of skill to get around the defenders. That goal right there just also sums up his clinical finishing. I just don't know how he did that. He was standing completely still when he, well, shot the ball. And look at that, it just goes straight into the back of the net. And that really highlights his amazing shots from outside the box. He's got really good long shots. Unfortunately, that was the only real long shot I was able to score with him. But it was a cracking one indeed. And it was first time on his preferred right foot as well. And that is something that I will talk about a little bit later on. 
as I said earlier, he's got great shooting from distance. He's able to hit one from distance. As long as you get it on his preferred right foot, you're going to be banging them into the back of the net. It's a guarantee. And as long as you get the technique right, you're going to be finishing off chances with him. Although it looks like I'm wasting a lot of chances with him, he's certainly very good at finishing it off. I was just trying chances from ridiculous angles, really. If you really wanted to, you could literally score about three or four goals a game with him. No lie, he is really that good. As long as you get in the right positions and you know how to finish with him, you're not going to have a single bit of trouble finishing with Emo Ezekiel. He really is that good at finishing. In addition to this, he's not a striker that's easily bullied off the ball. He is surprisingly strong, actually. Maybe because of his immense balance and the fact that he's got decent strength. You know, 71 strength. That really isn't too bad to have for a striker. And he really did seem to hold off defenders very, very well. Even though these aren't the best players that I'm playing against. I understand that guys he can also head the ball well into the back of the net I mean to be honest it really does depend on his positioning whether he's in the box or not and that leads on to the cons really for Emo Ezekiel and the first con really is that occasionally this is me being quite harsh to be fair occasionally he can be found wandering in the middle of the park and he doesn't seem to make runs sometimes a lot of the time that's not the case but sometimes it is a little bit inconsistent and he doesn't end up running in a to the box and that can be a little bit frustrating if you are trying to score goals with him it certainly is frustrating and also the fact that he's got two star weak foot as well sometimes I didn't really notice that he has a weak foot and other times it was just a, abysmal it really was his weak foot can be good his weak foot can be bad it's a bit inconsistent really and as long as you get him on his right foot then you'll probably find that you are going to find the back of the net just don't touch his left foot seriously it really is that bad as well as that he does only have three star skill moves that is a bit of a disappointment if I'm going to be honest with you thought that would be a little bit higher and if it was higher I would give him a higher rating but I'm going to give Emo Ezekiel a 9 out of 10. I really do recommend you guys pick him up as I have done with a lot of these players that I've reviewed so far and if you have any player in particular that you do want me to review make sure you let me know in the comments down below guys. Also remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already but apart from that guys I'm going to have to leave it there and I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.